Hello everyone, my name is Flair Bliss here, and we've returned back to Yumi Ruki. Building complex waste today and other sceneries which may or may not be completely baffling to the eyes of us. But now we're back with Twill, the wonderful magician that they is. And now we shall traverse through this world, hopefully getting more abilities at our disposal. Or belongings as they're called in this game all right so what there should be here is a bunch more graffiti uh, the person who graffitied that is very smart when it came to having a perfect line underneath which is something you never usually see so yeah i i don't find that convincing at all i find that very dodgy but anyways go through this of all these buildings here I must say nothing here as of note go up here then go horizontally again what we do every time we go a screen away every vertically and then just go all the way horizontally and then hopefully we may find something rather than going diagonal left right up down left square center circle Dodecahedron, however you want to call it. That's 12 sides, by the way, Dodecahedron. Nothing as of note, nothing as of late. Oh, that's nice. Very hot day, which requires some air in motion. Yeah. Ooh, these maps are very big in this game. Which gives me the assumption that we're going to be here for quite some time if we do not find anything out of the ordinary. So at the moment it looks like we are not finding anything and I'm recording this on the 4th of July which is very very obvious that it is National, well, Independence Day within America. So all good for my America followers. Happy Independence Day if you're watching this. Then again, it might be a little late for you, but it could, it, well, late for us, but it'll be still on time for you. Anybody out there, anybody who's in America, in my fan base, happy Independence Day. Anyways, we found ourselves a hammer, which is likely a real weapon for us to use in against these horrific endeavors known as enemies. Um, the layering to this is not set correctly. I'm not. I'm not impressed by that one bit. That's not set correctly as well. Hey, developer, your game isn't set properly. But again, it is 0 0.00, the only version to have come out of this game. And yeah, there's definitely a few issues with some of the tiles, which should enact as barriers, but they're not. Or a few tiles that should be forward rather than back. But I think that's how we got into that situation in the park in the previous episode where we somehow went through that little gap which we shouldn't have done so. And speaking of Independence Day, Eagle at the back. Surprising, this Okay. It's like this game is specifically set up for the 4th of July. Who the hell could say that anyways, about this spe specific Yumi Nikki fan game? Well I can see at the moment of building blocks. Building blocks way before my very eyes. Hmm. Not finding anything else at the moment. Only these pile of graffitis on the wall and I don't think they actually do anything if we interact with them. Hold enter to press on the graffiti and then from there you will be able to acquire such mystical powers that you will never be able to escape from this dream ever again. As I say. As one may say in the archives of history. If nobody is going to rescue you, you rescue yourself out of a situation. I think that's what we said anyways. 
finding anything else as of late. Not finding anything at all, actually, to be honest. Just these weird buildings with no entrances to them. These apartment blocks are very strange. Like, really strange. IMO. Apartments complex number or something? Or is it a sign of something bad? Or is it a meme? Never know. It could be that. Oh, this one has a fire symbol, symbol next to it. Why that is, though, this is the big question. Why is that a thing? Keep on going through these. Oh, there's another building. Excellent. Let's go in here then. And this one looks a bit bigger than the other one, which is all good. So let's go left first. Anything at the end of a pier? Hi. Anything at all? Hammer. Like, the hammer doesn't do anything if I hold shift. Nah. Um, let's see. Jelly. Do you like me fishy? Maybe I have to be something specific. Outdoor clothing. Nope. You just can stand there all day, bud. Hmm. But what is it quite set correctly? Unless, of course, everything's on the same level. I would imagine that as a waterfall. On the right hand. On the, um, just to the left of our lovely character. But what fishy is that supposed to be? I'm going away. I'm going away, and I'm going to perform my tricks elsewhere. But I'm only going to perform my tricks if I get stuck over on board. Or in the same loop. Or anything, really. Ah, uh, ha, ha. We can go in the water. Let's stay on the track for a moment, though. Maybe, maybe we can find a little way around to get to the fishy. Something over here. I thought that... Wait, I remember this place. Hmm, let's, tr let's not get too sidetracked because I remember where this is. I do remember this place. Let's go... No, let's not go down there. Let's go this way. We've been here before in the last episode. Unless, of course, this is another variant of the same world. Sometimes it could have two different worlds to them. But they have exactly the same sort of landscape. Now I'm going to go back. Go back and find what it is that I was looking for. Over here. Good. And now what I'm going to be doing is... I'm going to be going to this way. And then I'm going to go to the left. And hopefully we'll be able to find something. No, we can't. Okay, the upside then. But let's investigate to the right first though. Anything this way. Anything at all this way. We could find something. Anything at all. They both, they both end up to the same path though. I might as well have gone up the top way then. That just seems like a longer way round. What are you trying to do to me, game? Make me go around the long way. How dare you. How dare ye. Hmm, I'll go there some other time. I shall go there after I've done over this way. Let's go to the left. See what we can find within this shallow water. Well, apparently absolutely nothing. So that's... Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? We can't do anything that way. Why did you add an access point on this side then? Maybe go into the water. Let's go into the subway then. Hello? How can I help you? Anything? Hmm, seems like we need to do something here, but I don't know what. Anything at all? What about holding the hammer out? I wish if a hammer doesn't do anything. I'm not gonna lie. I was just expecting a bit something a bit more from a hammer. Even if it's like a small little animation. 
Yeah, we need to come back there some other time when we have a right effect equipped. Because at the moment we do not. And that's a little bit heartbreaking, but there we go. That's how it goes. That's how these things go. I can dig this. But now what can we find here? Numbers set correctly. That's all good. Ah, so it could be vertically restricted, which is nice. Nothing like an endless loop of going left, right, left, right. Well, left, 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 wait. My head shouldn't crop out there, and I shouldn't be able to go through. Hey, that is not supposed to be like that. <laughs> what is this? Merging with it. Oh, dear. Yeah. The developer didn't really test this game thoroughly to properly sure that everything is as it should be. Like, you test everything, every aspect from A to zero, from zero to nine, about, like, different collisions that can go on. All complex. Let's go through here and find ourselves some lovely glory. Hmm. Targets. More targets. Unless there's something else, of course. It could be targets. Oh no, it just seems like a target. Aim, fire, and then we get ourselves an almighty score of 10. Because that's how it works in the Olympics. Oh, not another vending machine. I haven't got any monies. No revenge. This complex is quite huge over there. What are you? Oh, hi there. And we got ourselves camouflage. What can we merge with the back? Oh, we can just... Okay, how is that even camouflage? That's more like being able to become a bit transparent rather than everything else. Hmm. Something to do up here? Surely there is something to do up here. Surely this is just... Surely this, there's something a bit more to this rather than just a little rooftop. I'm sorry, but I'm not satisfied with that. There's got to be a bit more to that. Have a certain ability and I'll be able to do that. I've already been there. Forgotten that I did. Everything is as good. Everything is as it should be. Go through here, then all the way back. So we found camouflage and we found the rooftop, which is incredibly small. What if we even put a rooftop in there in the first place if it's not going to serve any sort of grand purpose? Maybe it might be a purpose later on and we just need to find the itty gritties of it. Find a walkthrough. Yeah, that's all good. Find a walkthrough when I feel like I'm completely stuck and perform a finale video. So was, that's what I always like to do with every Yumaniki fan game is have a finale video where I just showcase all the items and abilities or, and events and endings, if it has endings, of the game itself. And it gives it a nice touch to the end of the Let's Play itself. I don't know, that's what I think it is anyway, it's a nice touch. But this place, this place, is its own little surprises. I do like that it is vertically restricted. I get frustrated sometimes when there's an endless loop. It's a big building up here. Just realized it was a building until I got close to it. Ah, we can go inside the big building. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Hmm, glowing over here. Wait a minute. We've been here before. I went downwards. Hold on. Yeah, I went downwards. But, ah, NPC. Hey. Now you work properly. Excellent. Well, you didn't give me any yen for my accomplishment. Yeah, I've already been here before. There's no point going back there. What 
do you represent in the grand scheme of things? And we haven't seen an NPC yet which is hostile. Usually there's a hostile NPC around here. But nothing as of yet. Anything else in this strange world? Apart from that big door. Oh, there's a small door. Let's go through here then. Okay, a different part of this map. And it's very vertically restricted, which I like. Let's go over this way then and see what we can find. Ah. Where do we go over here? An event of some sorts? I'm not sure how to make out of that one, but it seems like it would be the protagonist with a dog. But at the same time, it could be someone else actually, since they had brown hair and blue clothing. You never know. You may never know. That could have been the protagonist. With a lovely little puppy. Anything else this way? If I see a big door again, I'm just going to go back the other way. Anything else to the first world though, that's a problem. Because usually the first door that connects to the nexus, that holds the most factor of diverging you from one path to another. And usually the doors which are in the first part of the place where you go to from the nexus never usually connect up with each other. Directly. Nothing this way, nothing this way. Go over here, see if there's anything over up this way. Anything up here at all. Okay, there's the big door. So we've covered everywhere horizontally. And I think by and large vertically as well. Like, if there are any other doors which I don't think I've been through as of yet, then I'll definitely get a few of them and see what wonders they have. So I'm pretty sure that TV scenario was an event. A lovely event which I set forth out into the wonderful world. And then from there I actually am um, very dreary. <laughs> very dreary because I am a lucid dreamer and I sleep all the time. And I have wonderful imaginations. Because the look at this background. Look how finely detailed all these building complexes are. It's a shame not all of them have doors to them though. That's the only thing. <gasps> ladder! Ladder down here. Okay, I, I thought there was something near I realised I've, I've been here before. Damn it. Oh, what a sneaky little shortcut we can do there. <laughs> Well, it's not really a shortcut. But you get the gist of it. We shouldn't have done that from that side. Developer, fix that. <laughs> fix that little bug that we saw right there. Because that was just a jank to the next tile. Like, I could have done it up and down. But there's anywhere else over here. So, we keep going to the right. Left, I mean, sorry. See if there are any other doors here. Apart from one that took us to that place where we got the hammer. And then we can see if we are truly worthy of being praised as the Yuminiki King of all the Yuminiki games. Fire. Seen that before, so we go up here again. No one shall take my crown away from me unless I find a game that defeats me. With or without a walkthrough. Probably with a walkthrough. Ah. None shall take me away. Eh, oh, I love that little animation thing. That goes to the left and right. Hi! Hello there. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, I could be combined. No, I should have equipped. Not my hurting you. Um, de-equipped the hammer. 
I want to say hello. Yay, System Lemon. System Lemon. System Restart. Um. Hey. We're both having a great day here. Yay. You always guarantee me yen. Keep doing that. Any other times? Wow, you always guaranteed me giving me a hundred yen, aren't you? I'll come back for more another time. I'll make sure to remember you. Thoroughly. Remember you thoroughly, dear madam. Because whatever place we shall be, we will always be together. There are no hostile NPCs. That is quite a traditional thing in your Miniki fan games, is that there's always going to be at least one kind of NPC that's going to be a threat to you. Whether they are a duplicator of the protagonist themselves, but obviously they're deformed and not as smart as the protagonist itself, or it could be something else entirely different. Or it could even be a version of you, but the opposite gender. That could be something. Dot flow with Zitsubuki was a good example because the enemy NPCs there were both white haired females and white haired males. Anyways, now for the back of this door, I think we've explored pretty much everywhere which I could probably go to at that point in time. So let's go through this door now. And I know that we are within an environment which I am familiar with, like in Yumaniki. Oh, I wish I could smash that with my hammer. Actually, let's put the hammer away because it's likely to frighten certain NPCs. Let's go with camouflage, although it looks more like a deformed version of our poor protagonist. Yeah, I'm gonna change. Change to a ma 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 magician. I shall cast myself away into the void. And let you all know that I will never come back into existence until I appear again through that nexus door and then I will be back. I'll be back. You know who says that? I think you pretty much know who says that. Mr. Schwarzenegger. And I think he is a pretty awesome character at that. And Dwayne Rock Jackson. But very, very good. Anyways, Twill. Twill and his lovely adventure there were lovely adventures throughout this scenario of Yumi Aruki. Yume Aruki. Yume. Hmm. I have friends who keep saying that I call it yummy. Yumi. Yumi Niki. Yummy Niki. It's like it's not quite yummy, it's yummy. You may, okay, call it the Japanese variant of you may. Dreaming. Dreaming child? You may Nikki. I'm up to par with Japanese. I really want to learn Japanese, but it's just finding the time to learn from the beginning of how to actually say certain words. Saying the symbols on their own. Knowing what each symbol is. Because when people say that learning certain languages is very easy, I'm like, just no. I can't agree with you at all. Learning anything new is very difficult in my head. Like, if I'm not accustomed to what it is, or if it's something which is completely new, let's say that... I'm quite accustomed to how my PC runs. I know what its problems are. I know how it acts sometimes. But also, if I also encounter something in life which I have never ever seen before, I've never even witnessed before, then I'm more likely to just cocoon myself, cocoon myself up and not actually try and interact with it at all times because I don't know what to do. I don't know how to solve a problem. I don't know how to solve something which I have not experienced before. I 
you know, that's, that's something I can say most means about me in life. It's like I can't. I not not that I can't. Is that I don't know how to solve the problem of that time, within that time. I also find it a problem when I'm quite familiar with computers, but people also think that I'm also very good with, like, say, telephones, for example, or networking, or printing, and everything else that's related towards computers. And I'm thinking, like, nah, it doesn't work like that. There's specific departments when it comes to computing, when it comes to electronics, when it comes to video games. Video games I'm quite familiar with. As you could probably tell. Networks I'm useless with. Phones I'm useless with. And as a concept of fact. I hate using the phone anyways. I just find it so annoying. I find it so difficult to talk over the phone. And I also find it difficult. Because I can't see what they've been saying. Like I have to solely rely on my stupid ears to. Stupid little ears. I mean, okay let me just unplug. Let me just put my headphone off real quickly. Look how e little my ears are. Like, look how little they are. I'm not lying to you, they are tiddly little things. No wonder I can't hear much in life. Anyways, back to this game. <laughs> Sometimes I like to talk a little bit off topic of the game, but, you know, my style always variants around the game itself because at the heart of everything, the game is the most important thing about the let's play. Without the game, the let's play is just a bunch of talking. But also at the same time, I can't find anything here, so that's why I am talking. What to do, 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 what to do here. I can't find another door. I can't find anything in this bizarre world. It's really bizarre. Really confusing. Just keep going this way and see if we can find anything new along this plane of horizontalness. Go along this way. There's absolutely nothing new. Well, there is an edge. Let's try to go on the left side then. Actually, now I regret there not being anything of a um, an endless loop. Where is where is something in here? It just feels like the same thing over and over again. And I think perhaps I've not explored anywhere in the centre here. I just keep going along the edges. I think, anyways. <laughs> My memory span sometimes can also be very very small. Oh, there is a door. Wait, is it the Nexus door? No, it's not the Nexus door. Excellent. Oh, but that looks like the Nexus door. No, they're not the Nexus doors. They're cupboards. Why am I so silly? Anything particular? Hmm. Maybe there's some sort of random event too bad. I'm not going to try, try and do that for now. I can go to bed. That's something. Or maybe not. Yeah, let's go to bed. Let's see if we can snuggle up. Mm, nah. The game is denying us from being able to sleep. Why the heck not? Can I use a hammer on you? That's amazing. Any of you got any treats? Anyone got any gummy worms? Or oh, yen for that matter, actually. Right, none of these. None of these! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. None of them are different. All of them are the same. 
None of them have any special benefits or purposes. They are all complete lies. Would've been a cup, bud. Oh, I thought I found something there, but you know, just went into a room which has no purpose other than NPCs in which we can use the hammer on. But even they didn't give me any yen out of a process. Find my girl again. Find the one that kept giving me yen every single time. The one that gave me that window. We can collect different windows from this game. That's quite good. Like Yummy Tuki, you can collect windows from that game as well. And Lucid Dream, I believe, was another one as well within that tier. The tier of being able to customize the appearance of your game. The appearance of how everything operates. Is that the same one or is there a different one? Oh, it is a different one. Excellent. This place is full of toys, though. Hey, there's somebody on the top of that. Both of these, actually. Nothing. Oh, water. Oh, this is excellent. Finally, we're somewhere else now in this bizarre world. Finally, encountered another pathway to enlightenment. I believe so, anyways. Uh, this waterway doesn't seem to be particularly helpful at this point in time. And then, why the hell are there showers just spraying water everywhere? That water could be going somewhere very useful. Like countries which don't have much water. You know how some people can survive the vast humid heat of, let's say, Kuwait City? Because sometimes when I look at the temperature gauge in it, it like hits nearly 50 degrees C out of it. 50 degrees centigrade. That's an insane temperature. Hello. Can I help you? If you're not going to do anything, then unfortunately I'm going to have to... Oh! Okay, you turn into a, an enemy! Oh, sheesh! Sheesh, 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 I don't not want... Okay, don't want to do that. Get away from me! You're crazy, mate. So you are an enemy. You must be an enemy. So, are you still the same after all that? Yeah, you're still the same. You haven't reverted back to your original form. Look at your face. Look at its shitty face. Yeah, I'm staying over here. Luckily, the NPC can't, doesn't know what to do. Imagine if I was chased by it now, actually. Proper freaky. I'm good, we can't go across the water, which means we're not confined to going in an endless loop. Oh. How? How much bark is in this place, for goodness sakes? Oh, there's a tree with root on here. Can we interact with it? Absolutely not. I'm out here with my lovely outdoor clothing. Excuse me. And what I am going to witness is something splendid. One of these trees will... Actually, this is a rather small world as I look at it now. Look at it. No, this is different. Let's explore the rest of this world then and then come back. So I thought that was a pretty small world. And I realised there's a different blue door. Lovely morphine background music. Cave here! Excuse me. Not a cave. There's a place to an industrial site of sorts. Go down here. Who put this cone here? Whoever put these cones here must have no idea what they're doing. Like, really, who would put a cone in the middle of a walkway? That's just so silly, really. It's purposely put there to block our path. It also enacts as an inability to access somewhere. Inability to reach out to a particular part within the dream. Like, this part of your dream is inaccessible because you have not earned rights or you haven't been a good enough boy or girl to be able to go there. And this walkway seems very long. Some sort of cavern, actually. 
Most of these maps have got quite an abandoned feeling to them. Obviously, I'm the only one here, but it's just the scenery of it all. Okie dokie. Where are we now? Hmm. We'll walk around here. If we find any other doors, and I'll make a note of it and come back here on the next time. Because... Okay, so this world is quite big as well. Because I think we've done a pretty good amount of exploring today. You know, I think we've done a pretty good job today, folks. We've been through some topics. We've scouted around a little bit and see what we can find. And I think we did pretty good in this second episode. We've got the... We've got the hammer and the camouflage. If we can find one more effect item, then I'll be very pleased. Very pleased. Very pleased. Oh, there's a walkway over here. I just... Is that a walkway? No, it's not a walkway. I thought it might have been a walkway. What purpose has this place got? Seems like it hasn't got a purpose at the, more, at the point. At this point in time. Actually, looking at it now, this particular world is considerably smaller than others. Very nice. Been used to big maps in this game and another game I'm playing called Yuminishi. Both have very big maps, so we're going to go sideways to see if we can get another perspective on things. Because at the moment, it seems like I can't really find anything. At all. Some of these are quite transparent, which is nice as well. PNG or another file type which allows transparency because with JPEG there's no transparency like not even a single bit of transparency can be performed with JPEG does say JavaScript yeah I must might have said JavaScript before but again my memory span is quite short hmm. any of these statues unique in their own way because they always seem to be the same to me. Like exactly the same. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is that a pathway to a different world? No, it must have just been my imagination. Go through here. I swear when we went through here, things just changed up, but I don't think it did in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, that just looks exactly the same. Exactly the same indeed. Now we need to find this lovely... What's the point of this world? There's nothing here. There's literally nothing here to collect or to explore or to use. This world is redundant. And I do not like redundant worlds. Let's back, go back through this way then. So there's absolutely nothing there. Nothing at all. Nothing which we could use. Nothing which we could find. Maybe there's something incredibly hidden there which I did not try and interact with. But unfortunately, from my perspective, there was nothing there of any use. So let's go back this way. Go down the path on the bottom side. Rather than uh, going to the left from the upper path. And then we'll see where we can go from there. Nothing will be very good as a video. Very good as a video. These canyons are really pretty. When again, I forgot that this walkway is quite long. Quite long indeed for us to keep on walking through. I want to smash that. I want to smash that cone up with using this hammer. Why can't I do that? Hey, who said you can lend me to a very, 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 very dead-end path? That doesn't seem right about that. Not one bit does that seem right. Well, there's a dead-end. We're going to go back up then. So, through all of that, we discovered no items, no events. 
my advice, don't come here. <laughs> Unless you want to do a bit more exploring of the game itself, discover absolutely everything about it, then I've not really much to that. That cave, 0 out of 10 when it comes to finding abilities, finding events. I don't know, maybe there could have been something there which I did not discover. Excuse me, excuse me for my yawniness. My coffee must have worn off by now. That's a problem with coffee. Yes, it gives you that bit of buzz. But when it runs out, you feel knackered afterwards. No, really knackered. <laughs> and the mess your cue to get some... Nah, don't be a coffee addict. You know, it's a treat. Don't have it as a necessity. Don't think it is a necessity. Have it's a treat. Have it something if you're desperately tired in the morning. And for me, it's actually 25 to 3 in the afternoon, so... There's no excuse to that. There's no excuse to why I'm not finding anything, actually. I'm better than this! I know I'm better than this! Which one is that one? Is that one we've been through to get here originally? No, this is the other one. Okay, we'll explore this place. We'll explore this place and find anything which we can. And then get ourselves out of here. Nothing here. Okay, there's just that one path. What is the purpose of this place? Let's look at the trees. No. No. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Is there nothing here? God. Maybe there's something which is quite... Maybe there's something that's quite hidden. Nothing at plain sight at first. Plain sight, there's nothing. But I'm pretty sure some experienced players may be able to find something of great help here. Because to be honest, I can't find a single thing in there. Not a single thing can I find in there. So it seems this tree world doesn't really connect to anything. It doesn't really connect us to any items, any events. Nothing which I can see from my eyes. Let's go this way then. If there's nothing else here, then I am going to call quits on this episode. Excuse me. Excuse me and excuse my phone. Sorry about that. It's okay to yawn. That shows that you need to do something. But bloody heck, it's still broad daylight, so I'm not going to do that. A different... Wait. Okay, first thing. How the hell was I supposed to know that that was a doorway? There's literally nothing here. So you literally have to remember that that's there. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself in a pretty, pretty... Endless loop. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. And that sea looks especially, especially unreal. Especially as it converses into the sky. Like there's nothing there. Hmm. Yeah, some of the stuff in this game looks quite unreal and that Post there seems the most unreal aspect of the mall as of far. Like, you never see sea do that. It's like, just merge into the sky. That's not how physics work, and I think that's just put there on random. This world is just bloody random, and where it connects to is just random. With no purpose to it in mind. But then again, it could be on purpose that... The world does look kind of fractured. I mean, this is the protagonist's mind because 
well this is our dream but at the same time it could be a fractured dream where not everything is supposed to be intact just from a game design perspective that doesn't seem to be that, that wouldn't be something that I would do like I wouldn't just stick something random there Something ran there like the sea with no benefit. I'm pretty sure I missed something completely obvious, but I... Oh, what's these over here? Hello? I'm going to hunch you all down. Because I've never seen any of you before. Hmm. Where's the end of the line? I'm gonna make your race extinct. One blow at a time. <laughs> and then I'll respawn here, then they'll just be there again. That's how games work. You don't just you don't die, you just respawn. Okay, my reward was nothing. Not even yen. Something is going to go down here, and I am not very pleased about that. Who to say that I am the victim here? Oh, this is somewhere different now, actually. Can I get something? That surely is an item. Yes! We can get ourselves a tan! That's excellent! So there is something here after all. Get yeah, a suntan. Oh, look at that. We're so pretty. Not like we weren't pretty beforehand, but this is so pretty. Wait, can we equip a hammer with this? No. Seems like we can only equip other items with the outdoor clothes, providing that they don't actually change our aesthetics. Okay, so I'm glad I explored a bit more of this world. I really am. So we're going to leave it off today, folks. Actually, I'm just going to pinch my cheeks to get out of here. And then we shall see each other on the next time of Yumi Aruki. Hope you all have a lovely day and take care of yourselves.